In the screencast on schematic views, uh, I briefly mentioned 3D label legends. Um, so I thought I'd make uh, another quick tutorial on uh, where they might come in handy um, as a useful tool to show some information in a, in a 3D view. So um, I have, uh, let me just go to my prepared view of the stage left booms. Um, I've created a boom with three lanterns on it um, down stage left. Um, I've given them a channel number and a color just so there's something to display. They currently have a 2D label legend assigned to them, uh, which I believe are called generic. Here we go, use legend generic. That's my active label legend. Now, as we are in a 3D view, that information is not displayed because it's only uh, 2D. So what we could do is in our label legend manager, um, selecting the generic legend, um, I could go to edit fields and add into the same legend 3D labels as well. Um, or what I could do is I could create, which is what I'm going to do now, a um, specific 3D legend um, that is just there for, for um, showing stuff in 3D. Um, there's good reasons why you might want to do one or the other. Um, you just have to think about what works best for your drawing and for what you want to do. I think in many cases, it's probably useful to use one legend that does both so that your plan um, shows it in 2D and your your plan sheets um, and your, and your uh, section sheets show uh, the 3D information. But I'm just going to make one for this tutorial that will just do 3D to, to, to show it separately. So legend name boom 3D, I'm just going to pop in the color and the channel. I'm going to make the channel a circle, but um, note this time I'm using it using 3D and I press OK. And um, then I select my legend and I'm just going to edit th the 3D layout. Now, very similar to um, laying out the 2D legend, um, I get a sort of view of my lantern here and um, on the left, the elements that I want. So I'm going to pop the channel just sort of um, at the back on the side there. And now I'm going to put the color. Now, because it's in 3D, I'm going to leave the color quite near the channel. Um, if I was to place the color down at the front of the lantern and then in 3D space later on, this lantern points elsewhere, the color would still remain down there. So I'm going to leave it near the uh, insertion point essentially of the of the lantern so that um, the information stays near the insertion point no matter where the lantern points. Um, it'll become a bit clearer when I show you how that looks in 3D. I'm just going to exit my symbol um, and now I need to make sure that these lanterns use my 3D legend um, boom 3D. Now Nothing appears at first, and that is because I haven't actually told it which orientation I want to show this information in in my 3D view. So um, that's some uh, that's a step that, that um, I suppose is quite easy to forget, and you suddenly think it hasn't worked. You need to tell Vectorworks which way around you're looking at this stuff. So in this view, it's a custom view that I created using the walkthrough tool. I'm sort of looking at a bit of an angle, but roughly from the left. So I think the best would be to use left, which will then make my information appear. I didn't really move it far enough away from the insertion point, so it's now clashing with my lantern. So I could perhaps move it to the right of the lantern um, to solve that because of the way they're outrigged here. Uh, so you may want to create different legends for different um, orientations and stuff. If you were to rig lanterns on a boom using boom arms, you might avoid this problem um, because you'll have a more consistent um, orientation. But let's move them to this side. So you can see now this lantern shows in 3D. Um, the lines go to the insertion point of the lantern. Um, so that's where the hook clamp basically attaches to the hanging position. And um, you have this information now hovering in 3D space. Um, 
in terms of the orientation, just to show you what would happen if I, for example, say I'm going to show this from the front, you'll see they're looking quite flat because you'd actually be looking at them from the front to see them uh, front on. So you need to make sure this, this legend view matches uh, or is useful for, for your uh, view. Um, you could then create uh, a viewport uh, from this um, using the function uh, create viewport um, maybe on a on a new sheet layer that we're gonna call um, 3d booms uh, so I could put a few on those press ok maybe I'll make it a bit smaller so I can print it on a, a printer in the office and um, there you go you now get a view the viewport of um, of the units with with some of the basic information intact now it's showing me because each of these lanterns is uh, in terms of vectorworks visualization um, has a light source in it and for some reason it's showing me that light source uh, right now here so I should be able to turn that off um, I'm not entirely sure where it is is in terms of the classes so let's have a look um, let's move that over so you can see what's happening um, don't think it is in any of these maybe it's in something uh, let me just preview that okay okay that seems to be um, a little odd that it just disappeared there but I'm gonna take that and say thank you very much. Um, so I'm not sure why that visualization of the light source suddenly popped up visibly uh, and then disappeared again. Anyway, um, a, a kind of useful way of displaying if you need a, a boom uh, or a side view, a section view of something, but you do want to display some basic information like color, channel, dimmers, whatever, um, then these 3D uh, legends can be uh, quite a useful tool to make that information visible.